Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening no matter where you are. Hope you're all fit and well. Back with a light-hearted look at news from Thailand and Southeast Asia. What have we got today? Renting a motorbike and killing yourself just became harder in Thailand. Motorcycle laws have changed. The big bikes are on their way out. Well, maybe they are, I don't know. Thai government's going to make it harder for expats living in Thailand and visitors to Thailand to kill themselves with the new rules they're going to implement. And our special guest this Saturday, a little special on her, Dungy Fever and Malaria on the March across Southeast Asia. But first up, a drunken Russian tourist by the name of Shitov. Yes, that's right, Shitov. Falls through the roof in a Pattaya bar. Very strange story. A drunk Russian falls through a roof into a bar in Pattaya. He actually fell into the kitchen and the uh, cook was in there working and heard the loud noise and ran to see what had happened and found this drunk wiggling around on the floor. Russian drunk. The tourist was identified as Roman Shitov. Yes, you heard it correct. Roman Shitov. That's Shitov. <laughs> uh, anyway, he's a 30-year-old on holidays in Pattaya. Must have been practicing his superhero landings. Officials rushed to the bar, the Helter Skelter bar, and found Chitov with bruises and scratches all over his body. Apparently he was too drunk to explain what he was doing falling through the roof into a kitchen. All he could do was shout out, please don't kill me, please don't kill me in Thai. <laughs> the 31 year old owner of the bar, a female, was baking a cake when she heard a loud noise in her kitchen. She thought her oven had exploded and found the Russian superhero on the floor uh, covered in bruises and scratches. The Russian tourist to Shitov agreed to pay for the damages and uh, the police and uh, rescue workers could not ever work out what he was doing on the roof. He couldn't explain. He was too drunk, so they left it at that. And Shitov, the Russian tourist, flew off into the night. Renting a motorbike and killing yourself may become harder in Thailand. Transport Minister Saksayam Chidjob says he's determined to tackle this dreadful road toll, stating that 75% of the deaths on Thailand roads are due to motorbikes. Up until now, it has been easy for a tourist to walk in, show their passport, and off they go, an expert at riding a bike in Thailand, and end up killing themselves. What is proposing that all visitors and tourists to Thailand have a valid motorbike license from their prospective country? With the Thai driver's license for the big bike likely to come into force before the end of the year, tourists may be restricted from hiring large and powerful bikes. The changes could come into effect during the holiday season of December, January and February. And don't forget one important thing, there are lots and lots of expert tourists out there riding around in Thailand with no helmet on and no license. Hi there, Mark Leverage reporting for Talk Bike Thailand. As some of you may or may not know, the big bike laws are about to change in Thailand. Due to the large spate of accidents, big bikers will be banned from driving between traffic lanes and subject to a stringent procedures in applying for driver's license, according to the Transport Ministry. The Transport Ministry states that new or existing motorcyclists will have to reapply for a driving license or stick to a 300cc motorcycle. If you already own a large motorcycle, you will probably have to take a retest and apply for a new license. Now the cabinet hopes to approve this within the next 30 days. As for the procedure of you not being able to wind in and out of traffic through central lanes, this will actually put you onto the near side lane, uh, which in my opinion, I don't think it's that safe with cars traveling to the left. This will include all Thai nationals and obviously foreigners. Okay, this is Mark Leverage reporting for Talkback Thailand.
Johnny Siam reporting. Dengue fever may be a thing of the past. As trials raise hopes, hundreds dead in the Philippines, threefold increase in Vietnam, hospitals over capacity, Malaysia, Myanmar and southern Thailand. This year, climate has increased the amount of mosquitoes. The World Mosquito Program has developed a method where both the male and female mosquitoes are infected with a disease-resistant bacteria called wool bachii and released back into the environment. Young mozzies are born carrying the wool bachii and it makes it harder for them to pass on not only dengue, zika, yellow fever. Meanwhile, in Thailand, Dr. Su Wanachai from the Department of Disease Control said over 10 people in central Thailand have contacted Chai Hai Ka since July. People should take precautions. Those with high fevers and joint pain should seek medical advice. But meanwhile, in Myanmar, several drug-resistant strains of malaria are taking hold across Southeast Asia. A drop of deaths from the disease from 2010 to 2017 largely accredited rural health services and the use of bed nets. Worldwide malaria is hoped to be stopped by 2050. That's a very bold statement, yes. The World Health Organization is worried about the spread of malaria in Southeast Asia and into the continent of Africa. That would result in 90% of the world. So Myanmar has now been engaged with NASA to map mosquito populations, movements, due to climate control and climatic change. Technology has come a long way in this world, and we know it, from when they can track a mosquito. So, some countries use technology, some don't. Some just stay in a time warp. Johnny out.